Hello! Hey guys, it's Marcus and welcome back to my channel. Um, my face looks oily because I just came back from school. I, sh I, have, I have things I should be doing but I'm sat here in front of a camera. I've got a review video for you guys today. I haven't done those in a while. But I bought the Herbivore Blue Tansy Face Mask from Sephora. So I've actually watched Hiram's videos and uh, in his top 5 face masks, he's recommended this mask. And I thought, why not give it a shot? Because uh, I just finished a face mask, I was like, let's, let's go on Sephora, let's add it to the cart. This is $76. Because she's so expensive, I wanna let you guys know if this works. And why should you trust an ugly, pimply teenager reviewing this? Because if it makes me beautiful, it's definitely gonna make you beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So like, I've been breaking out a lot because of my face mask. Hello, sorry for the change of um, background because I didn't know what time the funeral would end. So I was just like doing some work and I just need to get this recorded ASAP in case they play some music again. This is my face after three uses of this. Okay, to be honest, I actually used this once, but I didn't read the instructions because the instructions say you're supposed to use this three to four days every day for your first time and then you're supposed to reduce it to once per week no to a few times per week to see smoother clearer skin and maintain results so my dumbass literally used it once and then i forgot about it and i was like oh i should do a review for this and then when i read it i was like oh i'm supposed to use it consecutively i think it's because you're supposed to get rid of that the first layer of dead skin which is a lot so you gotta use it like three to four three to four times consecutively um so you're probably wondering like what the hell is blue tansy and what does it do for your face so it actually has this thing called as azuline i think the like the blue tansy thing itself um it helps to soothe irritated and blemish prone skin aka my ratchet as hell skin it's, it also it also smells, like I wouldn't wear it as a perfume, but it's herbally. It's like you're in a spa. It's actually an exfoliating mask. It does a chemical exfoliation because there are two types of exfoliation. The physical one where you, had, you, know, you have like the beads and you rub it into your skin. It's very watery, so I could only manage to get like a thin layer on and sometimes it's like, do I even have it on? And as it dries, it kind of like gets less wet and is um, super sticky to the skin. So this is a resurfacing mask. Yeah, so it says resurface your skin with natural blue tansy and fruit enzymes. Yeah, it just, it's just supposed to remove dead skin cells and uh, soothe irritated skin. I will show you some clips of me going through day one, day two, day three, day four, and um, my final thoughts on whether this is worth the money and whether I'll be beautiful by the end of this review. Yeah, if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. What is my content, you may ask. I don't know. It's random. But yeah, here is me putting on the mask. Bam. Welcome to day one of using the Blue Tansy mask. I've been breaking out because of mask knee. The struggle is real. I've decided to record this because I always use my face mask like super late at night and my mom is sleeping and I didn't want to like disturb her beauty sleep. So enjoy this voiceover. Also, they gave you the scoop to scoop the thing out to use on your face, but I find it really useless so I just used my hands and went ham on my face. So as you can see it's a very thin translucent layer and it's very watery so it's kind of difficult to layer without it like sliding everywhere. <laughs> and this is how the mask looks like after you've applied it. Okay, did not expect the lighting here to be so harsh. This is how my face looks like after the mask. I think I did add on too thin of a layer. Tomorrow I will try it with a thicker layer to see whether there's like a proper difference. I don't think like the redness has gone down much and the sensitivity hasn't gone down that much either. So I'm gonna finish up my nighttime routine and then let's see how my face looks like tomorrow. Day two of using the blue tansy mask. My mask acne is getting worse. I think the last time I used too little. So now I'm going for a thicker layer. This is how my skin looks like after I washed off the mask. Not much happened. Day three. Actually, the this side of my face it's actually improved a lot. Here, a lot of damage has been done, but um, I feel like the skin is trying to push out the 
gunky, nasty stuff. So, so far it's working. Let's see. <laughs> Just washed off the mask. I just want to say that it's so difficult to wash off. I would recommend like a washcloth, but I don't have any that's like clean and not soiled. The old hands and what? Uh, yeah. Day three. I'm just gonna finish up my night routine. Day four. I think this side, the bumps actually got smaller, so there's some progress. This is how it looks like after five uses. This is the mask washed off. Hi, okay, final thoughts. I thought I would shoot like this because this is how I showed um, my face on like day one. So as you can see, the redness has actually decreased a lot. Um, I still have acne here, but it had... Girl. But it has, um, it shrunk, it has shrunk a lot. And this side of my face has cleared up quite a bit and the scars have actually, in my opinion, I feel like it has improved. Now I know I don't have like the perfect skin in the world, but um, this does what it was set out to do, which was to exfoliate, get rid of my dead skin cells, and help this help my poor acne prone skin. So I, I had to film it today because I'm gonna be working this weekend and um, 10 hours with a um, face mask just does not bode well for my skin so it wouldn't be a fair assessment to show you the results over the next week as well. So this is after using this for four days in a row. The thing is the first time I used it there was actually a tingly sensation. That was the one I didn't film. For the times I've used it over this four day period there wasn't the tingling sensation that I felt the first time I used it. So. Um, um, maybe it really went ham on my skin and got rid of those dead skin cells. So what is my verdict on the Blue Tansy Herbivore face mask? I give it a thumbs up. I highly recommend. It is really pricey, so like... But um, it lasts... I think it'll last you quite long because I've used this five times and there's barely a dent in the pot. I strongly urge you guys to try it if you need some chemical exfoliation or if you have some acne prone skin. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!